Yeah, <laughs> transportation. You know, there's tons of things. Education. Yeah. Uh, it's it's necessary in the world. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I think it's the 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 um the era that we're living in now that uh, it's like we were talking at the beginning of the show that yeah you don't need money but if you want to keep living the life that you're accustomed to you need money yeah like there are so many things if it starts raining and my internet goes out i get suicidal like asap (laughs) (laughs) not really no it's like and the internet goes out that sucks but like the big stuff for me is like if the power goes out i don't have like ac we live in one of the most humid areas, probably on the planet, I would assume. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we live in, like, northwest Florida on, like, marshes and bayous. And it is just, like, it can be 90 degrees outside and feel like just the face of hell. <laughs> and if I don't have, like, if I don't have AC, that is the worst. And, you know, like, that's just, like, something that, like, you have to have power. You have to pay for power to have AC, to have your refrigerator, to have internet, stuff like that. Um, You'd be amazed how fast, if you run out of power in the summer here, you'll be amazed how fast you strip down to just like boxers. Yeah, Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Yeah, definitely. Um, Yeah, I don't know, though. I mean, I think... Money's definitely, money in itself is for temporary happiness, but like you said, it does buy things that make you, I mean, quote unquote, permanently happy or whatever, you know, like you said, like a dream home or something, you know, that uh, you have to have money to provide for your significant other and kids and the the home that you want and stuff like that that that's not things that you'll just get for free um and you know someone might make the argument oh you could you could build your own house out of trees that you cut you know your whole family could help out you could live on a farm it's like who well okay you have to buy that land yeah (laughs) yeah what resources how did how did you get that land yeah Uh, how did you get those axes you know all this other stuff, it's it's in there. It, it's a factor. It's a big factor. It's a huge life. part of our life, more than we possibly recognize. And so uh, the other part of this commentary I want to get into um, the, is the freedom part. Uh, what keeps us free as Americans, as humans? You know, I like to think a lot of the world uh, is is free or at least more so than they have been maybe in previous centuries mm-hmm. um like uh, what what expense is our freedom what does it cost to live our lives you know yeah. to other people and to ourselves we we burn fossil fuels it ruins the uh, environment our economy is doo doo <laughs> you know oil prices all this other stuff yeah, um, that are necessary to our way of life as people. It it does things to our planet, to ourselves. I know air products. We we live next to air products. It makes the uh, air quality terrible. Uh, growing up, I knew so many kids with asthma who were born in this area and raised in this area. I'm just so happy that I wasn't born here, you know, and and raised here for like the first two years of my life because. I feel like I would have had asthma. Yeah. Um, you may have been just far enough away, you know, to be fine out there. Yeah. The air quality by your house seems pretty good. Yeah. That's fresh. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's interesting to think about. Because, I mean, yeah, freedom, like, at its core, obviously, is, you know, like a... Freedom in itself, you know, that, that's like a God-given right. That that everybody's free, or should be, or should be. Um, but I think there's multiple definitions, at least in terms of like 
America specifically and freedom that yeah we are free we don't we don't really like in in comparison to the 1800s we don't have slaves in our country um people still flock to our country in droves for jobs yeah like i mean that's that's uh we are free i mean that's people are like you know i've heard a lot of people sorry for butting in people are like no no we still have a government overseeing us making laws it's yeah. like okay most of the laws are made to protect you yeah um <laughs> anarchy yeah. does not work out not at all no our country would be in ruins if it was anarchy our country would not be our country <laughs> no not at all you see how that some of those countries turn out um but uh <laughs> get back on that train <laughs> yeah what was i saying well i'm gonna take this time to interject again what do you think about that I was watching a video the other day of one of my favorite YouTubers that you introduced me to. I don't know if I'm allowed to say his name in this video. I'll probably send it to him because I want to get his opinion on this one. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say his name. All right, Drifter, you know, really cool guy. You guys should check him out. Love him to death. He's awesome. Um, he was telling, he was talking the other day about um, recycling. And, you know, like, is it really that good for the environment? Is it really that worth it? Um, and this is tying into the um, at what cost is freedom to ourselves and to others. And he was, you know, he brings up a good point. You know, to recycle, it takes a lot of resources. It takes, um, sorry if you heard that my phone kind of, I, I record on my phone. It's got really good quality, I think. But, um. It locked. Anyway, uh, you have to, you know, these huge tractors and machines come and pick up the recyclables, burning gas. It brings it to a plant that burns coal or whatever to get its power or uses a power plant, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of power to melt these things or to compact these things. And it burns a ton of fossil fuels just to recycle some things so in the end it's not really it doesn't really matter that much and the best things that we can do as humans for the environment is literally to die <laughs> because yeah. we really we really are very 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 bad for the environment so uh our toys and everything you know everything we use plastics everything is manufactured in in large quantities in these massive factories that just take up so much energy so it's we're we're bad <laughs> yeah and that all you know that's that's our freedom our freedom is we get to do what we want and do we abuse that <laughs> yeah because we like money and things exactly yeah <laughs> yeah it's i mean it's crazy to think about like what the earth would have been like before the industrial revolution even the, the first industrial revolution um <laughs> it's like, I don't know. Think about, like, how, I don't know, just thinking about, like, roads. I mean, you know, you hear your, your parents or whatever from growing up in an area, which your parents aren't from here, but, like, you know, my parents are from this area, so they can go, man, whenever I was little, that used to just be all woods right there. Like, now it's, like, a high school, and I don't know. It's just, it's a little sad. Yeah. <laughs> Like the, the face of the earth is just slowly disappearing and being replaced by stuff we've made. Well, think about this. If, uh, if we didn't live the lifestyle that we want, think of all the things that we have right now. You see all these little tags made in China, made in Taiwan. Think about those countries, what we've done to those countries. That is super cheap labor that we have made ourselves because we couldn't get that we wanted that greed, you know, those companies wanted to provide you with really cheap supplies and wanted more money. Um, so they got these, you know, child factories and sweatshops and yeah. whatever that huge factory is in China. It's like Apple's part of it or something. There's like three yeah. companies in one. It's really famous. I never remember the name of it, but you know, like we are the reason for that. 
I don't know, it feels terrible, but, like, I'm sitting here looking at my iPad like, oh, man, <laughs> some child in Taiwan made, like, three pennies for that or something. Yeah. It's like, just because I wanted a cool electronic device. Because for temporary happiness. <laughs> True. I mean, I don't know. That's, in that's interesting to think about. Like, did I make that country better by putting that factory there or worse? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, it's like... Especially in those kind of places that are so urban, it's like they feel like everybody has to have a job there in order to, I don't know, provide for their family or whatever. So, yeah, that's interesting. Do Are we giving them work or... Are we creating a terrible work environment for them? Yeah. Making us think that it's a, you know, a good, yeah, we're giving them jobs. Yeah. yeah. But really, we just put them, like, shun them, beat them down into, like, a... <laughs> A terrible ghetto lifestyle that... That's a little disturbing. Yeah. Kind of glad I brought that up. That was... That's deep. Yeah. Boom. So, uh... Hashtag deep thinker. <laughs> oh, no. That got you kicked off of Twitter. Yeah, I got banned on Twitter uh, after five minutes. I, I created a Twitter for the first time. Got banned in five minutes. Made a tweet about terrorism. It was a joke. It was a joke. Anyways. <laughs> Off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Late night commentary. Anyway, guys, I think I think this was a good thought-provoking um, video. It was very long, but I have the footage for it. So. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think. Uh, let us, Honestly, let us know what you want us to talk about. I, I really like enjoying the... Or I enjoy these uh, thinking experiments, you know? Mm -hmm. Very thought-provoking. Um, also, I will be putting out a video tomorrow, too. Um, don't particularly know 100% what I want to do it on. I have a couple of ideas. But, um, yeah, definitely. I have so much footage and free time now, so... Yeah, lots of footage. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it'll be fun. So, uh, as always... I think I already said it, but don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Shadow Rockets out. Bye.